CJ Gunn with Indiana Basketball, man. You're a freshman. Uh, I so, saw you play in school last year several times, but now you're here in Bloomington. What? Uh, how's it? How was your summer? How's the transition been? Meeting all the guys and integrating into a new team. It's been great. Um, I think it's a once a lifetime opportunity. So I'm just trying to live in the moment. Getting to know the guys is great. Um, they became my brothers over these last couple of months, and I can't wait to go out to war with them. Last year, uh, you had a great high school season, great finish to your career. Uh, obviously, one of the few guys that are from Indiana that are on this team, uh, yeah. which, but the ones that are are very good. Uh, obviously, you're a guy that has shot the ball extraordinarily well, something this team has been needing. Is that something you are looking forward to bringing to Indiana this year? Yes, sir. I'm definitely looking forward to bringing my, my shot making ability and being able to set my, my teammates up and myself up for open opportunities. And I just can't wait to go out there and get my first game under my, underneath my belt and, and first season and bring home a, a national championship. What's it been like playing with these guys? I mean, high school, you, you played at a higher level in Indianapolis, but D1 is just different. Uh, it doesn't matter because you got certain guys that are four years older than you, for one yeah. thing, but it's also just a different level. It's faster. They're, they're bigger and stronger. What's been the biggest adjustment for you? Um, I think I think the biggest adjustment for me is just getting comfortable. Um, obviously, uh, playing in a in a different environment, in a different space. Um, I think it's all about just um, how comfortable you are, and then once once you get that comfort level and, and, it, and it clicks, it clicks. So um, that that's that's kind of how it's been during the summer. How has practice been, or how do you see the team gelling? What have you been able to do uh, as far as on the court that, that you feel confident with? What are some of the things that you want to work on more? Uh, I mean, I know everybody wants to work on everything, but specifically some of the things that you've learned uh, by moving to this level. Um, you learn a lot just from Coach Wilson and the, and the players that's already been here, like Scoop and, and Trace. Um, you learn just the, the, the small little details that really matter and, and, and create different different opportunities on offense and defense. And they, it's just a different level of intensity. And we're, we're, we're gelling really well. This team is, is we're about to be great. I can feel it. There are a lot of great players on this team, young and, and veterans as well. What what does Trace, you mentioned his leadership, but what does that leadership do for you? Because you're playing with a guy I mentioned that's, that's probably four years older than you, and Race is four years older than you, and Miller's four years older than you. Those guys have experienced so much in life. What what are you able to learn from them? Um, it's just iron shop is iron. So when you play, when you when I when I walk in here every day and play against those guys, they're obviously going to make make me into the, a better version of myself. And so just knowing that this is Traces and, and Cops and all their last years, it, it, and, and the whole team, we all get a, get along uh, well. So just wanting that for them and their last time, this, this their last season, so, so we want it for them the most. Who have you had uh, fun playing with uh, beside? Who's been the biggest challenge? Who, who's the hardest guy to go against in practice on this team? Um, I think uh, Scoop, he definitely has that killer mindset. And, and you know we go 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 back and forth during practice, so that's just a great feeling knowing that we can come out here and be brothers off the court, but also compete so hard on the court. And this freshman class, man, a great class with Malik and yourself and uh, KJ and and, and Jalen. There's there's no reason all four of those. A lot of people are thinking all four of those guys, those names are, are going to see the court, yeah. which is not always the case, especially when you have a team coming back as good as this one is. How exciting is that? thinking about that, playing on this floor. It's really exciting, just all four of us um, being able to compete with everybody that was already here and, and seeing the court and playing against all, all the other college teams out here. It's going to be a great feeling just to be on the court with those four guys, knowing that it's, it, this is all our first go around. What do you think it's going to be like when you come out for the first time of a real game here? Aesthetic. Aesthetic. I can't, I, I can't even put it into words what, what's going to be going through my mind, but just kill. That's what, that's what I'm out here to do. How, the parents, what do you think that they're going to be like when you're that first time you come out? Man, proud. They, they might shed a tear. I don't know, but <laughs> just seeing their kid live out their dreams. I uh, don't think there's a might to that, yeah. is there? <laughs> yeah, I make any, any parent shed a tear seeing, seeing their kid live out their dreams. So. What, are, what are your goals for this year? Um, just win a, a Big Ten title and a national title and just playing my role and, and doing, doing what's best for the team. CJ Gunn? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Good luck, Thank man. You, we'll Paul. see you again soon. Yes, sir.